Hey folks, Savage Attacker is a good feat. I think it's one that you should consider using if your melee damage dice is a d8, a d10, and especially a d12, but not so much if it's 2d6. It seems like this isn't a very popular opinion. It's not a highly rated feat on most D&D advice sources, and I think that's because its effect on damage can require some complicated statistics and it can be difficult to analyze. So what does it do for your damage? You may have seen or heard or read or calculated or divined that it increases your average damage by one or two points per round, but it's more complicated than that. It's also more beneficial than that and a lot more fun, and I think it's worth talking about. To help us, I'm going to need to call on the power of Google Sheets. I've made some pictures, some charts and stuff that'll make it easier to see the benefits of this feat. Ready? Okay. All right, folks, what I've done here is I've made some plots in Google Sheets, basically Excel if you're not familiar with it. Um, and I made some tables showing the average chance of any given damage result on a specific dice. Here I've chosen the D12. So that's our, our great axe. Chance over here is on the left, our chance of getting any specific result, and our, our result is down here on the bottom. Um, that's how all of the charts I'm about to go through are uh, represented, all the, all the graphs. Um, and for a, a D12, or same thing for a D8, a D10, uh, one has the same chance as a 12, right? Presumably, as long as our dice aren't weighted, when we roll one of these dice, we have an equal chance of getting any number that comes out of there. And for a D12, that chance is 8.3%. Uh, that was calculated up, up here based on math and stuff. Uh, but uh, what's important is that it's a flat line, right? And also, worth noting, our average is 6.5. That's really a statistics way of telling us that the chance of rolling uh, 6 or less is 50%, and we got a 50% chance of rolling 7 or higher. Right, 6.5 is right in the middle there. Now, when we do what we do with Savage Attacker, which is to roll twice and choose the higher, this is what we get over here. So, uh, again, here's our result. Here's the chance of that result on the left. Uh, and as you can see, 12 is now the most likely result. And that's because when we're rolling twice and taking the higher, the higher numbers always are more likely than the lower numbers. 12 is the highest number, so it's the most likely. So that's really good. You can see before we had an 8% chance of rolling a 12. That was 1 in 12. Now we have twice that, 16%. That's a 1 in 6 chance every time we roll that we're going to get a 12 on that dice. And the chance that we get, let's say, above a 9, it's over here, it's more than 50%. Right? Our average result is now 8.5, but again, that's that statistics way of telling us we've got about a 50% chance of getting a 9 or higher and a 50% chance of getting anything less than that. Our chance of rolling a 2 or less is less than 2%. So these are super unlikely, and our 12 is very likely. I like rolling big numbers. I like Savage Attacker because it helps me roll a big number. And keep in mind, this is going to be the same result for uh, a D8 and a D10 in terms of how this curve plays out. Your most likely result will be an 8 or a 10. Your chance of getting a 1 is, is less than 1%. Um, your chance of getting 2 or less is pretty small. Uh, and it, it your chance of getting that max result is huge, comparatively. Your chance of getting the max result doubles. That's what's important. Now, all this is a decent change to our damage, but it's even better because of the wording of the feat. We can make our decision to use Savage Attacker after our roll. This means we're getting basically the, the advantage of advantage on damage, but we choose to have it after we see the result. So if our first attack is I don't know, you know, a 10, and we go, well, you know, what are the chances of us rolling a 12 on that second roll? We don't have to use it. We can save it for our second attack. Hopefully we hit. And if we do hit, maybe it comes out of 5. We can make it something higher, right? That is a pretty complicated thing to model in statistics. And that's one of the reasons that I think that a lot of the D&D &D advice folks 
don't focus on this feed so much because it, it can be hard to measure the effect of that specific that specific scenario but it can have a big impact couple this with it being something that you can use with no penalty unlike great weapon mastery and you can use it every turn of combat even on your reaction attacks on another creature's turn like an attack of opportunity and i think this is a good feat savage attacker is a good feat so one of the things i mentioned though is that 2d6 it's not so good with 2d6 savage attacker not so good with 2d6 why is that so i've also plotted out over here the great sword damage chance for 2d6 this is this is what happens without any modifiers right so if you weren't aware of this 2d6 has a preference for its result and that's because of some statistics stuff that goes on it's called combinatorics uh, but your most likely result is going to be seven and that's shown here getting low damage uh, rolling one on both dice you have a really low chance of that however you also have a pretty low chance of rolling six on both dice uh, so both of those results the extremes are a lot less likely the middle result seven is a lot more likely and that results in more consistent damage the problem is is when you roll twice and take the higher if you rolled a low damage on your first roll when you roll again you're most likely going to roll a seven so that means that 12 isn't your most likely result when you're using savage attacker with a great sword um, so i actually did over here plot what savage attacker looks like with a great sword so when we use savage attacker with 2d6 we are roughly doubling our chance of getting a 12. we are really crushing our chance of getting a two you can see i've got it over here it's less than 0.1 percent but 12 isn't our most likely result in fact instead it's it's eight your chance of getting nine or greater is, is a little less than 50 percent uh, your chance of getting six or greater is huge i mean that's everything over on this side of the curve so you know you're not going to roll a lot of low numbers but you're still not your chance of, of getting that 12 is still uh, about a quarter of what it was with a d12 so that's why i'd say it's not as good with 2d6 i like rolling big numbers i don't like rolling eight or nine i like a 12. now some of you might be wondering if savage attacker is worth using if you have the great weapon fighting style as well uh, i'll be honest i assumed it was not uh, and after having run it through the, the Google Sheets code that I have here, my mind has changed. So I've got this over here. I had to use random code for these rather than the, the theory of combinatorics, which is what generated the rest. So I actually have, I'll, I'll show you here, these use the, the random function. Uh, it is a pseudo random code. Uh, and you can kind of see that I, I ran it. 900 times I think to generate these results and it's not it's not a perfect uh, line across the top here we have a preference for different results um, and those will actually change as I as I hit uh, buttons and cause it to recalculate and blah 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 a bunch of stuff that you, you may not care about so uh, point is is that this is a rough approximation of what it should look like this should be a flat line somewhere across here but instead it looks kind of like this um, but we can still use that to model what it does, uh, what the results look like when we add in Great Weapon Fighting Style and Savage Attacker, and that's what I've done here. So over on the right, we've got uh, a histogram of the Great Axe damage with the Great Weapon Fighting Style. And that's, that's the one that lets us re-roll 1s and 2s, uh, which is about a sixth of the results on a 1d12. And as you can see... Down here, one and two are pretty uncommon. Everything else goes up by a little bit. It goes up by a little bit because there's still a decent chance of getting a three, a four, a five, a six. Those are all roughly equivalent. 
This should be a kind of a flat line somewhere around 9% probably. Um, now when we use Savage Attacker, this kind of is close to what, what I showed before, right? It's roughly the same pattern. Um, and now if I combine those with both, what you'll see is that our chance of getting uh, a 1 or a 2 is it's just so small. If you do the math on this, the chance of 1 and, and 2 are less than 1 in a 1,000 each. So I did 900 rolls for this, and so they, they show up as close to 0. Uh, 3 through 12, of course, end up having that same kind of savage attacker shape, but all with a higher percent. Um, so the chance that I got for a 12 was close to 20%. Let's get it. Let's, let's recalculate. Recalculating. Recalculating. It's bigger. Right? Your chance of getting greater than or equal to a 9, that also goes up. And your chance of getting greater than or equal to a 6 is huge. It's like over 80%. That's for the Great, great Axe. For the Great Sword, it's actually a pretty decent picture. So over here, this is what the base Great Sword damage looks like with this random code. Uh, we move over to the right, and we can see this is what it looks like with Great Weapon Fighting. Uh, it's very, very similar to what it looked like with Savage Attacker, and that's because Great Weapon Fighting on a on 2d6 allows us to reroll uh, one, two, ones and twos, which equate to a, a result of two, three, and four. So all of those drop way down, and that gets spread out across here, and the result is that uh, you know, nine close to 9 ends up being our, our most likely result. In theory, the answer should be about 8.5. So, that's with Great Weapon Fighting. We come down here. This is with Savage Attacker. Again, looks very similar to Great Weapon Fighting and to what I showed before. The chance of 2, 3, and 4 is low. Now, when we combine the two of them, look at that. Here we are with a chance of 2, 3, and 4 being effectively 0, 5, very low chance, 6, it's pretty low, 7, it's less than 10%, then we get to 8, 9, and 10, the calculated average out of here was 9.5, it's right in the middle there, uh, and that's, you know, if that's going to be your average damage, that's pretty good, I'd take that, I like rolling 12, but I can settle for usually rolling 9 and 10, like most of the time, almost always. I'll, I'll take that, sure. So, if you're going to have great weapon fighting style, take Savage Attacker. That's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video.